patients come to me almost every week talking about things that are happening to their vision, typically in the 30s and 40s. There's something that happens to their vision that changes and they have to start holding things out a little bit further to read. And one of the things that this is related to is dysfunctional lens syndrome. Not everybody knows that we even have a lens in our eye, but this is actually the structure that's causing some changes to occur. Jamie, could you tell us a little bit about what dysfunctional lens syndrome is? The natural lens goes through basically three stages throughout our lifetime. The first, it loses its zoom. It's called presbyopia, so we actually have to put on readers and or wear monovision contact lenses or something to address those issues. The second stage, we begin to lose some clarity, the lens starts to harden, so we may need more light to see, may have more difficulty driving at night. And the third stage is actually loss of transparency or full-blown cataract. A lot of people aren't aware that there's more than just the cornea. A lot of our procedures that we do are, are laser approaches on the cornea part of the eye, but Alan, how do you approach a stage one dysfunctional lens patient versus someone who's having stage two dysfunctional lens syndrome? Well, as Jamie says, the uh, stage one is really about losing your ability to focus. So if you're going to have a corrective procedure that only corrects you for distance vision, then you're going to end up relying on reading glasses. So what we like to do at stage one is to explore the possibility of blended vision, where one eye is left a little bit weaker for reading, I've, I've had this myself for about the last 10 years, mm -hmm. and I can still read and see distance very clearly, and it works quite well. So I've been a dysfunctional lens syndrome now for about 10 years. In stage two, you start to get the opacities in the lenses, and you start to get distortions of the vision. And I think in that stage is when we start to consider whether we need to replace the lens as the first step of any corrective procedure. So Jamie, in patients who, who are in their 30s and, and you perform LASIK surgery to correct mm -hmm. their vision, is this kind of aging uh, lens change going to occur for them as well? Or, or is LASIK a permanent solution for the long distance vision? Does LASIK wear off? LASIK doesn't wear off. However, we continue to change as we, as we age, as we live, as our, our activities change and our needs change. So even though LASIK can give you years of wonderful high definition performance, we still age and need other alternatives, whether it's blended vision, whether it's lens replacement, the variety of tools that we have in our toolbox to address whatever your vision needs are, whatever age it happens to be. LASIK's a great procedure for correcting long distance vision and there's a variety of procedures out there that, that go beyond laser approaches. There are lens implants that can be used that can address both far and near vision. Oh.